The future of Goddard campus may not be cemented, but the incoming owner is telling the surrounding community he's a preservationist and a conservationist. Our Laura Ullman was at the Plainfield Select Board meeting to find out what ideas the community and purchaser ExecuSuite had for the more than 100-acre property. We, we've had some fairly high-profile high buildings, um, but this is the first one anyone ever cared about. Mike Davidson, owner of property redevelopment firm ExecuSuite, volunteered an evening with Plainfield's residents curious about the Upper Valley landlord's interest in purchasing Goddard Campus for $3.4 million. The last two would-be buyers went in and said so they were going to buy it, and then they both ended up backing out. I'm not as scared. <laughs> One resident referred to the campus as part of the lifeblood of the town. Each person who spoke at the meeting wanted to keep their relationship with the campus alive. The 90 acres of undeveloped land for adventuring, the WGDR radio station for storytelling, its potential for affordable housing, food, and while Davidson stressed he had no solidified plans for the campus, he promised to fulfill each resident's dreams. I'm feeling pretty excited about what might be possible. Oh, we're on. We're on. Um, just don't give me too many. I have uh... Plainfield has endured two summers of devastating flooding, displacing 41 residents, and after declining enrollment at Goddard, the campus closed. With housing tight and a large institution shuttered, the town's economy is under pressure. Now, I think there are a lot of um, forward-thinking ideas about how we expand our community and, and envelope these opportunities that are here, recovering from the flood, re-envisioning the campus, and conjoining all of these various projects as one. Davidson floated creating geothermal or solar energy farms, but stressed he was absolutely committed to redeveloping the property to supply or build more housing. Yeah, we're, we're ready for emergency interim longer term and affordable. The future owner tells me that the final sale is expected to go through in late November, early December, although he hopes to move it up to early November. Reporting in Plainfield, Laura Ullman, Channel 3 News.